Oh, we're live now, lad. You ready now? No, not You're not ready. Jamie, it was nice here to wash the tractors to the occasion anyway. It was. <laughs> Too busy working, you are. Too busy, yeah. <laughs> anyway, you kind of caught me off hop, like you, uh, 10 o'clock at night, you decided to come the next morning, so. No, that's, that's lies. Don't be, don't be playing the blame game now, Jamie. No, it was. <laughs> anyway, you're kind of like the one-man band that does everything now. Yeah. Well, you have a bit of help from I have your cousin Connor. Connor helped me out and Connor then does the rapping and helps out in the slurry and stuff like that as well. So when did you start out? Was it four years ago now? January 19th started out. With? Tracked on the farm, tread that in, bought another case, Puma 150. Had the slurry tank, had a baler. Went from there, went drawing bales for George Trihy. Pulling his uh, bale carrier that year, um, spreading slurry. Bought out his carrier then the previous year and done a lot more baling for him. Then bought a new baler two years ago, new coon, with the film on film. Serious job, never yeah. looked back with it from it. So you still have that first tanker you bought? First That's a 2500 gallon slurry, slurry cast? Yeah, that's still there, yeah. With a dribble bar? Yeah. And then you have piping system now as well in the slurry side of things? Piping system came two years ago again, so it's around the same time as the baler came. Is that slurry quip? Slurry quip, pipe system. Very happy with it. Um, yeah. Working well for us. So what's the setup then for the slurry? You have the John Deere on... John Deere's on the, the pipes, we'd say, and the CVX is pumping. The CVX is pumping, yeah. Most is your normal setup? Yeah. And then, for baling then, so you have the Coon baler at the minute. Yeah. You had a McHale originally. Yeah. That you traded. Was there a reason you went Coon, or was just, that's what was there, or? I wanted to go film on film, like, and the only aerial options were go combi, like. But I got a demo down of a Coon with their film and film system, which I thought the film was stronger and stuff like, because we draw all the bales in, green as we call it, and wrap them in the air with a tanker wrap and stacker. So the normal rolls of film like seem to be stronger than the white film and the McHales, I thought. So yeah, so your coon uses the exact same wrap that you'd be wrapping the bale with anyway. Yeah, yeah. You just put on two rolls of that. Yeah. And it seems to work fine. Yeah, suits down to the ground then, the farmer supplies all film then, so I pull into the yard, put two rolls up in the baler and go out and bail his, and Connor comes in, he puts up two rolls, wraps away again, and when we finish them, we just take off the rolls and they're there for the next day, like. Yeah, do you still have some farmers going for net? Some of them, like, but it might be 35, 40% going net still, like. Yeah, and the rest are willing to pay a little bit extra for the, the film? Yeah, they don't want to be dealing with net anymore, like, can't recycle it, can't do it, and it's, it's just a disaster, it's a hindrance, like. Yeah. So you're getting better quality silage We're and getting better more quality silage and it's way easier to open the bales in the winter and everything like. And then usually if you're going out baling, would you bring the John Deere now or the CVX? The last year the John Deere was on it all the time or the maximum because the baler's ice was controlled, the screen and the John Deere will just plug straight in, plug in, play and go. The screen then was in the maximum and the wiring loom for it like. Whereas I pulled it out of it there this year and put it into the CVX. Just should be a bit nicer baling with the yeah, yeah you're no clutching like. with your CVX, like she should be nicer yeah, yeah. on the baler. Yeah. Um, and then I suppose the big thing now this year is the wagon. The wagon, You're after yeah. buying a wagon. Yeah. But that's more, well, am I right in saying it was more bought for zero grazing? It was more bought for zero grazing, like uh, we were very busy at zero grazing the last two years and... Yeah, the actual zero grazing you have, what make is that? Grass tech, GT that's 120. Grass tech. That's not, it wasn't able like for the road work and the going, like we'd be doing... 14 loads a day some days like and I was able to buy the wagon the front mower for a fraction of the price and the front mower can go out more silage. Yeah you were in the market for a front mower anyway. I really, was in like. the market for one anyway it was, it was going to happen sooner rather than later but it happened a bit sooner like um, and sure the wagon then have the option of picking up a bit of silage as well like. Yeah yeah so it's a second hand Pottinger wagon you second bought. Second hand Pottinger Taro 5100 yeah. Was there any particular reason you went for the Pottinger wagon or was just you found one for sale at the time? Uh, when I was in New Zealand I drove a Pottinger wagon like I find, thought they were strong like and they're well built like they're, they're able for the conditions like. Yeah, yeah. So you're running the full set of knives in that wagon there. What Roughly like what shop length would you be getting in a wagon like that? I know, you're probably on 40 mil like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which some of the dairy farmers now, they love that crack like they... Yeah, longer chop like the cows do better on it and that's what they say anyway, I don't know. As I said, it's the first year with it now, like there's only a few bits put in, like um, time will tell, like. Yeah. When the next, when the time comes around again to change the tractor, are we going to see another green one in the air, or? Because uh, <laughs> you, you, you did go, you were case uh, Puma 150, then you bought a second Puma 150. Yeah. Then you went to the Maxim 150. Yeah. And then... The CVX here then. Yeah. And then and the John Deere came along. John Deere came along then. 
And will the next one, like, what do you think of the John Deere over the case? Yeah. I presume it's a bit more expensive, like. Oh, it's more expensive, yeah, definitely. But you're getting at the time, like, I got a better, a better deal, like, you know, I had more spec, and like, I wanted something with a screen, like, to work the baler as a backup because. I don't need one tractor, I have to pull the wiring loom out for the baler out of it. You know, this way if something happens, like, you can just drop it off, pick it up with another tractor. Like, that's predominantly the reason I wanted something with a screen. I was able to tractor them with Green Star ready, like, so I was able to buy the Green Star GPS auto steer for it, like, so that is a massive help, like, you know, it is. Yeah. The fact it was there, that kind of pushed me towards John Deere more like I was just getting a good deal on it like yeah yeah um, but back to the original question will the next one be green or red or uh, blue maybe or who knows what colour I don't know don't you're, know you're just what not going to tell us it all depends on the price of the day yeah <laughs> you're, you're holding the, the carriage close to the chest there now who's throwing the best deal that's what it's all about now <laughs> you'll have Paddy Fitz and Dave Murray up against each other that day I sure will I sure will to be on as well <laughs> and then, right, you're based here on the home farm, so you have sucklers as well. Yeah. You have a few sucklers, that's how it all started out originally, I suppose. Yeah. Um, your uncle Declan then is big into the vegetables and stuff. Yeah. You're kind of tied up with him a bit, you do a bit of work and you... Yeah, I'd be doing the tillage for him. him and... Um, like yesterday you were ploughing. Yeah. Not for him now, but you were ploughing, you yeah. do a bit of cultivation as well. Yeah, yeah, grass for seed and all that, like this car. I mean. Yeah, you have this car with a grass box, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see a mulcher over there. Yeah. You do a good bit of mulching there times of the year. Yeah, just I won't be doing it now for a while again, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does uh it comes and goes, it comes and bursts like. There might be nothing happen for a month mul with mulching like and next and then there's a week's work to be done, like, you know. We'll do a lot of rushes, briars, all that stuff like reclaiming ground like. Good job for it, like trash it all up, disc it in, plough it down, like it's the way to do it. Yeah. You couldn't handle it otherwise, like. Like rushes and all that to just break your heart trying to plow them down. Yeah. And then, what else is there then? Shall we, you have the Wilson for bringing in the bales, like you were saying, you bring them in all green. Yeah. Wilson brings in all the bales, draw them all green. That's a 10 bale machine? Yeah. We'll and then, obviously see. Connor rack them in the air then with a Merlot and a Tanko wrapper sacker. Yeah. Which is just, uh, that's the norm around here. Like that's if the lads maybe here, up yeah. the west or something, be looking at this now thinking that's, that's a mad thing. But uh, like around here, that is yeah, what no, everyone's Every at. bale is drawn in. Um, we don't leave any bale in the field, like. Yeah. Every bale is drawn in. It's drawn to a yard or it's drawn to a corner of a field, but 99% of them are drawn to yards, like. No, nothing's wrapped in the field. Nothing's wrapped in the field. It's, it's not that common around this part of the world, really. Uh, could you see yourself going for a combi at some stage, maybe? Or would it work for you at all, or? Uh, it would work, yeah. It's far and against them, like. Yeah. It is far and against them, like. When you have a lot of work to do, and you're going to get long draw thrown in the middle of it there or it happens like all machines are stopped like yeah and if you do the combi and that's we're still going like you could just stay going stay going if something breaks down you'll get to it like later on that night yeah that's can catch in. up you can drop off the bale put on another trailer and go drawing in wrap bales yes there is a, there is a place for them like um the way labor and stuff is going like it could end up going that way like yeah it's getting harder and harder to get labor like um you could go away and bail couple of hundred bales there and come home drop off the baler go in go drawn in like you could probably reduce the tractor then as well for most of the year too like yeah yeah so there is far and against it like uh, I have thought about it but there's an awful lot of money tied up in my yeah, machine and you're still going to need your tanker wrapper stacker and you're still going to need like. that like yeah yeah you still yeah, need yeah. that for some jobs like it's back to the wagon silage there for this year so you have you have all the gear basically you have mowers you have you got a rake this year as well yeah and you got the wagon obviously the Mur connor's Merlot was there to push up yeah. when it's needed you bought yeah. a buck rake i to push off buck that rake can go on the front yeah. of a tractor as well yeah um you were at a job the other day there where the farmer was actually pushing her up himself yeah yeah you were just there with the wagon that just kind of job probably suits you down to the ground really yeah, just, at the minute he, he'd raked and all he's his own wagon but um he just hasn't time to pull it out like so uh went in Picked up the grass from brought it into the pit, he pushed it up and I was gone out of there again in a couple of hours. Yeah. Ideal for everyone really. One man show really like it it suits like. What would you reckon now is like the one thing that would stop you from expanding? Would it be the price of machinery? Would it be the lack of good staff? Would it be the lack of work? What do you reckon is the big issue for you like? For everyone really, but um, staff is the biggest issue, like. Yeah. 
the biggest issue is not enough work to keep on a man for the winter like yeah you're in that mid you're in that kind of awkward phase there now where you're yeah. you don't have enough work for a full-time man but you're there's too much work for you on your own as well at in times, the summer at times yeah. mid midsummer now yeah there's just me and my father and connor will be busy like and we'd have a couple of fellas come in and give us a hand at times as well like going forward i don't know don't think i'll expand too much but i said that a long time ago too and the yard is full of gear now yeah, 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 yeah. The checkbook was busy since then, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose the last bit of kit then that you would have on the go is the cane trailer. Yeah, that's Declan's which, cane That's trailer. Declan's, but you pull that a bit, you do a bit, bit of haulage on the rainy days or whatever. Yeah, She's yeah. kind of set up for spud boxes, that trailer. She's set up for spud boxes for, they're at Harrisall, the parsons into boxes in the field. Shifting bales of straw and silage with her and over the winter and the odd long draw then we could load her up and draw bales to, to Connor like too. Around close to us here there wouldn't be too many it's more over Cork side or somewhere you'd find the cane over stuff. Over Cork yeah you've cane here is predominantly Brahan trailers like bale trailers are Brahan silage trailers are Brahan like Smith yeah. are coming in with silage trailers. Yeah but do you reckon that cane is a serious job? Yeah it's an all-rounder trailer like that's the that's what you need like. Yeah for you anyway. Machinery and, like you want to buy a machine that can do a couple of different things for you like. Yeah, if you can yeah. at all, like that's the wagon. The wagon can do, do the zero grazing, as well as it can pick up silage. Like, and as I said, the front mower is um, front mowers there. I can go off double mowers, or I can go zero grazing with it. Like, yeah. So it's, it's one last up. thing, then. What do you reckon is next if you were getting into something else? No. You have enough now, do you? I have enough. So look, you're kind of covering everything now. Like you're you're at slurry, tank, and pipes. Yeah. You're at bales. You're at pit. You're at Plowing, you're at receding. Mm. You kind of have enough on your plate, I suppose. Yeah, we've enough on the plate, like making enough money. I don't know about making any <laughs> money, <laughs> but uh, we're doing it anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we're, look, we'll leave it there, I suppose. Kicking. So, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for chatting. Thank you. Thanks for coming down.